In the last video, in part, I stated that Malcolm Turnbull had gone straight to New York after leaving, supposedly leaving politics, for the purpose of meeting with Goldman Sachs, who were also in New York, because he was ex-Goldman Sachs CEO, supposedly ex, and all of his policies while he was Prime Minister had always been for the benefit of the bankers, which is, you know, includes Goldman Sachs, who's the operational arm in all of the countries. Now, just watch, I'm just going to play this video. Now, after you've watched it, just ask yourself, is what I propose that he's got a bucket full of money from Goldman Sachs to now bribe and threaten and coerce or anyone and everyone within Australian politics in order to pursue Goldman Sachs' agenda in Australia, which is the banker's agenda, which is debt and lower GDP? Well, just watch this video and see how their worldwide operations go. It's from 2016, but it shows um, how all their people are interconnected with governments and institutions that affect governments. It's, uh, I was pretty well blown away when I first saw it. All right, so I'll play it now. The US head of Goldman Sachs, Lloyd Blinkfein, grew up in the Bronx, and therefore he understands quite well how to outmaneuver others. Head of the German Goldman Sachs branch is Alexander Dibelis. The chairman of the international business branch of Goldman Sachs is the Irishman Peter Sutherland, a former AU commissioner and member of the Trilateral Commission which is a small, private, political consulting group in Washington. The 300 to 400 members of the Trilateral Commission are very powerful people, such as Lucas Papademus, the former Greek interim head of state, or until recently, the Italian Prime Minister Mario Monti. Beyond that, what connects Monti and Papademus? Would you believe it? both used to work for Goldman Sachs. Now we all know Greece's dire debt position, which is 50 years of austerity ahead of it, plus they've already lost all of their public assets. And that Lucas Papandamo guy, he was obviously from Goldman Sachs and he was right in the middle of all that hiding Greece's debt and doing the bailout. So he's their Goldman Sachs man that was in Greece in order for Goldman Sachs and the bankers to own it. Same as what Turnbull's doing to us. Moreover, also, Paul Wolfowitz is a member of the Trilateral Commission. Paul Wolfowitz used to be the president of the World Bank, but then he had to resign from his position on account of a well-paid job deal that favored his girlfriend. Robert Zolich became his successor. And where was he previously? Right with Goldman Sachs. But Zolich should not be confused with the chairman of the German Bishops' Conference, Robert Zolitz, who is also an integral part of this network. Peter Sutherland was not only chairman of the board of Goldman Sachs and the Trilateral Commission, but he was also a consulate for the administration of the patrimony of the Apostolic Say, headquartered in Rome, where Robert Zolitz may also be found. Goldman Sachs has many more interesting connections. Example, Petros Christodoulou, who became head of the Greek debt agency. He also worked for Goldman Sachs. So Petros and Lucas, uh, the two Goldman Sachs infiltrators into the Greek government, because that's what they do. They put people into positions of power, into governments to become ministers, and they then crash the economy, raise the debt, and in this case, they actually even hit the debt to get it over the line. And then they just, and of course, what I just mentioned, Greece is in the dire debt position that probably never ever get out of. And that is what Turnbull is here to do in Australia. We're a bigger prize than Greece, though. We've got a lot more resources. And if Turnbull can pull it off, he'll be legendary in the Goldman Sachs world. And, you know, he is narcissistic. Bolt did sort of say that. That's one thing that was right, but he didn't get the intentions right as to exactly what he was about. So let's keep going with this Goldman Sachs. And Charles Henri de Croset who was with Goldman Sachs for seven years and subsequently monitored the French financial markets. Also Philip D. Murphy with Goldman Sachs for 23 years, who following this became US ambassador in Berlin. Philip D. Murphy was also a member of the Atlantic Bridge Association. The Atlantic Bridge is a German-American network of elites. Members are politicians, financial sharks, and journalists acting jointly as a think tank. These people also take care of the political leaders of the future with their young leadership promotional programs. Persons who profited from the Atlantic Bridge are, for example, Sem Ozdemir or Yulia Klockner of the CDU, but also Christian Wolf, former president of Germany, and Silvana Klockmerin have been promoted by the Atlantic Bridge. Furthermore, members of the Atlantic Bridge are the head of Goldman Sachs Germany, Alexander Dibelius, and Chancellor Angela Merkel, 
who in turn is advised directly by Alexander Debellius. And here we find Robert Rubin. He used to be Bill Clinton's Minister of Finance. Where did he come from? Right, Goldman Sachs. What did Robert Rubin do afterwards? He advised Timothy Geithner in 2012 U.S. Secretary of Treasury and former head of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. However, Geithner was in his office only until January 2013, as Geithner himself never was an associate of Goldman Sachs. He had a very close collaborator, Mark Patterson. Where did Mark Patterson come from? He came from Goldman Sachs. Apart from that, Timothy Geithner was also a member of the Trilateral Commission and a member of the Council on Foreign Relations. The Council on Foreign Relations is one of the most powerful think tanks worldwide. There are 3,000 to 4,000 really powerful masterminds who deliberately help design the future of the world in their proceedings. Who pays them all? Where does the money for the council come from? Among others, it comes from Goldman Sachs. In 2012, also Henry Paulson was a member of the Council of Foreign Relations. Prior to this, he was a Minister of Finance for George W. Bush, and before this, he was the top director of Goldman Sachs. Therefore, Paulson was well connected with E. Gerald Corrigan. Corrigan was the head of the Federal Reserve Bank before he moved to Goldman Sachs. At the same time, he was a member of the Council on Foreign Relations and a member of the Group of the Thirty. The Group of Thirty is a high-end club of the financial elite to whom Corrigan belongs. Who else can we find in the Group of Thirty? Mario Draghi. Mario Draghi too comes from Goldman Sachs. Subsequently, he became head of the European Central Bank. Also, the German Otmar Issing, a longtime chief economist and consultant for Chancellor Merkel, used to work for the ECB. After this, Otmar Issing provided consulting to Goldman Sachs, and therefore Issing is connected with Jean-Claude Trichet, Draghi's predecessor. Trichet was also a member of the Group of Thirty, as well as of the Trilateral Commission. That's why he knows Lucas Papademus as well as Mario Monti. Here everybody knows everybody. Also, Robert Zolik and a number of other well-known political persons could be identified as members of the Trilateral Commission and the Group of Thirty. These are all just interconnections to do with North America and Europe and the European Central Bank there. So if they're doing it there, you don't think they're not doing it in Oceania, in Asia, in Africa, all over the world. So these girls operate. They have all these connections, they put people in influential positions, and then those persons, like Turnbull has gotten Finkel in and God knows how many other banker people in charge of our public service or in key positions in our public service, which is where they really run things from. So, yeah, just ask the question again. Do you doubt that Turnbull went to New York, straight to New York, coincidentally for a holiday, or do you think he went there to meet with Goldman Sachs and then come back with... Amazingly, all of these new friends that he's now got. Okay, that's what he's doing.